This is Leslie Langnaw, Managing Editor of Design World Magazine, reporting on recent developments in harvesting energy for wireless sensor networks. Because wireless sensor networks do not have a direct means to receive power for operation, researchers have been investigating various energy harvesting methods. Wireless sensor networks power needs range from a few microwatts of power in sleep mode to a few 100 milliwatts when transmitting data. Batteries are the most commonly used energy storage medium and are a mature technology and readily available. The two most used types are the traditional alkaline battery available around the world and in recent years the lithium iron disulfide batteries which offer the advantages of extended operating temperatures, capacity, and shelf life. With new low power wireless sensor network systems, nodes can operate for up to three years at a one minute sample interval on four AA batteries. But other methods are under investigation. One technology being used in some early prototypes are supercapacitors, also known as ultracapacitors. Supercapacitors store energy by physically separating positive and negative charges, unlike batteries that rely on chemical reactions to separate the charges. Supercapacitors store electric charges similar to static electricity with a balloon. The process is reversible and can be cycled millions of times to extend life, so they offer longevity and quick charge and discharge periods. They currently do not offer the same energy storage density as batteries, however, so they require additional electronic control and switching circuitry. In future wireless sensor network architectures, a supercapacitor might be used for energy storage connected to specific power electronics. The power could come from multiple sources, each requiring a unique transducer to provide a power source for wireless sensor network nodes. Another option is solar panels. This is the most mature technology and has a developed market. Complete systems with solar panels, inverters, batteries, and mechanical enclosures are available from several vendors, including Sunwise, Mr. Solar, and PowerUp. Another potential energy source is derived from thermal differences in the environment. Thermoelectric generators, or TEGs, convert temperature differences across dissimilar materials into an electrical potential or voltage. Based on the Seebeck effect, the voltage generated is directly proportional to the number of leg pairs times the Seebeck coefficient times the temperature difference between the hot and cold sides. According to data from Micropelt, a supplier of TEG-based energy harvesting technology, this type of technology can generate approximately 0.5 milliwatts with a temperature difference of 10 Kelvin up to 1.5 milliwatts with a temperature difference of 20 Kelvin. Vibration energy harvesting is another option. Two types are currently under investigation. Electromagnetic induction, where energy is harvested from the magnetic field produced within an AC inductive motor, and piezoelectric energy harvesting from mechanical vibration. In electromagnetic induction, energy is harvested from the metal windings within the rotor and stator of AC inductive motors. The actual transducer is a magnetized mass of several grams connected to a specifically designed and tuned spring. This spring is tuned to harvest energy from the resonant frequency produced from AC current. According to data from Perpetuum, a developer in this area, a 450 gram device can produce at least 0.3 milliwatts on most AC motors and when tuned properly can reach a maximum of 50 milliwatts. In piezoelectric energy harvesting, energy is harvested from mechanical vibration using the piezoelectric effect, which converts mechanical strain from a vibrating mass into electrical current. This strain can come from different sources, including low frequency seismic vibrations, acoustic noise, and most commonly vibration from rotating equipment. When the piezoelectric energy harvester is tuned to the appropriate resonance frequency of a specific vibration source, power in the milliwatt range is possible. Data provided by Adaptive Energy with their Jewel Thief technology shows that a range of 0.05 to 0.15 milliwatts is possible with vibration in the 0.025 to 0.075 gram meters per second squared. 
For more information on energy harvesting technology, visit designworldonline.com and go to the Engineering Exchange to discuss further.